Hi, and welcome back. So if used off-label, what are the potential benefits of this new anti-aging wonder drug? Let's find out. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by Lisa M. Krieger, where she investigates the off-label use of metformin as a way to slow the aging process and treat other ailments and not just diabetes. And there are links in the description below to the studies and the articles I used to put this presentation together. Metformin, a medication designed to control diabetes, has of late become the controversial darling of the health conscious internet elite who have been attracted by preliminary research suggesting it may help promote longevity, reduce dementia and prevent a whole host of other medical conditions. Most recently added to that list is that of long COVID. With origins that date back to medieval Europe, metformin has been used for decades as a powerful tool to lower blood sugar in people who already have diabetes. In those patients, it also offers cardiovascular benefits and has resulted in significant weight loss. Metformin is now increasing in popularity for use in conditions that have nothing to do with diabetes. Intrigued by early studies and promotion on platforms such as TikTok and Instagram and on health-focused blogs, vlogs and websites, people have now started seeking off-label prescriptions for the drug metformin. So off-label is using a drug for a different condition and or at a different dose than it was originally approved for by the FDA. But Experts urge caution, saying there isn't enough data yet to start recommending a daily dosage for these off-label prescriptions. Dr. Peter Chin Hong of the University of California, San Francisco, when citing lack of extensive research, said, I'd be very wary about using metformin off-label at this point. The evidence has to be really strong if you take a drug for a particular indication in which there's not a lot of good data. A Stanford University endocrinologist, Dr. Marilyn Tan said, while it's unlikely to do harm, certainly a lot of young healthy people are looking into taking it with hopes of kind of optimizing their health and biohacking to improve their longevity down the line. There's also no proven benefit from any randomized controlled trial in terms of anti-aging effects. It's not FDA approved for any of these other indications. Metformin can trace its history back to a traditional herbal medicine in Europe called Gallagher officinalis, also known as goat's rue, Italian fitch and the French lilac. While it can cause side effects in people with kidney problems, it improves blood sugar control by improving insulin sensitivity, reducing the amount of sugar released by the liver into the blood and increasing glucose absorption. It is now the fourth most widely prescribed medication in the USA. About 20 million Americans were prescribed metformin in 2020. What is tantalizing are the preliminary findings based on animal studies and some clinical trials that hint that the drug may help slow aging and increase life expectancy. While the underlying mechanisms remain unclear, it may create cellular changes that improve the body's responsiveness to insulin and boost blood vessel health. Its reputation has grown with a recent barrage of social media attention, including viral posts by Silicon Valley based internet entrepreneur and biohacker Serge Farguet, who has talked about taking two grams of the medication every day. And of course, followers of this channel will also know about David Sinclair and his father Andrew's use of metformin. The New York City-based longevity company Novos, which has enlisted Harvard's Dr. George Church and other scientists to its board, posted a question on Instagram asking Metformin, the secret to anti-aging? Publicity was further boosted when a University of Minnesota team reported that only about 6% of Metformin patients infected with the COVID-19 virus went on to experience long COVID. This was compared to 11% of those who were not on the drug. Dr. Peter Chin Hong, when talking about long COVID, said, There's a better drug, the FDA-authorized virus-killing 
Paxlovid to reduce the risk of long COVID. Metformin doesn't make sense from an infectious disease perspective to work against long COVID. It's not a card carrying antiviral. The off-label prescribing of drugs is legal and it is common. According to the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality, an estimated 20% of all prescriptions in the USA are for off-label use. Beta blockers, for example, are approved to reduce the risk of high blood pressure and heart problems, but are also used off-label to treat people who are suffering from anxiety. Doctors have long prescribed metformin off-label for the following conditions. In the 1990s, metformin was shown to lower testosterone levels in women with polycystic ovary syndrome, suggesting that it might help. But at present, there is no clear evidence to support broad metformin use in those patients. This, according to a 2017 University of Chicago analysis. Metformin is also an effective and safe alternative to insulin for women who develop glucose intolerance during pregnancy. It also controls weight gain and reduces the risk of hypertension. This, according to a 2016 review by physicians at Peking University First Hospital. Two decades of evidence support the use of metformin to prevent or delay type 2 diabetes among high risk patients or people with elevated blood sugar, a condition called prediabetes. This was concluded at a 2018 evaluation of 40 studies by a team at the Los Angeles based Veterans Administration. Certain patients, especially those who are young and healthy, are less likely to gain weight if they take metformin soon after taking medication for schizophrenia and other psychiatric disorders. This, according to a 2017 review of published studies by a team at the UCLA Medical Center. Other studies looked at the potential of metformin to reduce the risk of dementia or stroke. A 2016 analysis by Australian scientists found that cognitive impairment was significantly less common in diabetics who had received metformin. In a 2013 study in Taiwan, the drug also offered diabetic patients some protection against stroke but its use by people without diabetes for the prevention of dementia or stroke was not supported by either of those studies. A 2021 analysis from several large studies by a team in Canada and Qatar indicated that metformin may induce anti-aging changes in diabetics. It improved the health of diabetic patients in the study while they were alive, although the effect was modest. However, it remains controversial as to whether metformin is protective in people who are classed as metabolically normal. Dr. Marilyn Tan of Stanford University said there's a lot of interest in it and additional studies are warranted to see if there are more benefits. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. If you follow the channel, you'll know recently I was prescribed metformin. Um, no change to my A1C scores at the moment. They still hover around the pre-diabetes range. Uh, no big change in my A1C and I take 500 milligrams a day and I take that just before I go to bed. But there was a marked drop in my biological age the last time I used my blood test results to check my biological age. Um, the test came back with me it being 49 years and eight months when I was actually 58 and eight months. So that's a, a marked drop from the time before. Um, I'd be interested to see what your comments are on the drug metformin.